Hey everyone, uh, before we get into our sermon recap and small group questions, um, one quick announcement I wanted to mention is that our men's conference is coming up uh, February 3rd and 4th uh, here at the Vista. And so uh, men, we would love to have you join us. We'd love to have as many men possible join us for our men's conference this year, uh, Friday night and then Saturday uh, morning uh, during the day. There's gonna be a lot of uh, great teaching and worship and food and games, and it's just gonna be a lot of fun. So uh, guys, again, you can register online at the website. Uh, we would love to have you join us for our, our Vista Men's Conference, all right? Uh, this week, we were in the third week of our series, And, uh, looking at two ideologies, um, conservative and progressive. And the big ideas this week uh, from the sermon are that our culture tends to sort of push us to be increasingly either conservative or progressive. Um, and so um, one thing that we want to we want to kind of understand is that we think that it's healthy for the church uh, to be both conservative and progressive in the right in the right ways. And so um, if we're going to do that, we're also going to have to learn to live then with the tension that sort of comes with that uh, those two ideologies. Okay, and so um, we also mentioned that those two ide ideologies tend to battle, if you will, to be the source of our identity as much or maybe more so than a lot of other things. And so um, if we're going to Lord, live with that tension and be both conservative in the right ways and progressive in the right ways, then um, I just mentioned that we're going to need to, number one, keep our identity rooted in Christ and our ultimate allegiance to him. And number two, we're going to need to let God's word and the Holy Spirit be uh, our guide rather than culture. And then number three, we've got to learn to be good listeners. Um, and, and so those were kind of the big ideas uh, from the sermon. And here are some questions you can ask this week in your small groups. As always, the first two questions are the same. Um, question number three, I mentioned in my sermon this week that these two ideologies, conservative and progressive, they seem to battle to be the source of our identity uh, as much or more than just about anything else in our culture. Um, so first of all, do you agree with that statement? Do you think that is true? Um, and if so, um, why? Why do you think why do you think that those two things uh, seem to battle to be the source of our identity so much? All right? Um, question number four, um, discuss some of the dangers of a church becoming too conservative or too progressive. okay? There's probably a lot of uh, a lot of things you could mention, but just take some time as a group and discuss that. Um, the problems with being too conservative or too progressive. Question number five, uh, do you consider yourself to be a good listener? Um, if you don't know, you can ask your spouse or your friends around you. They probably know. Um, but the question really then is, how can we become better listeners? Um, we talked, uh, I mentioned James, where James says, be, be slow to, uh, quick to hear and slow to speak. And so how can we become better better listeners? And then finally, question six, um, go back and reread 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. And then the question is, why do you think Paul constantly reminds Christians of the gospel when they have presumably already heard and responded to the gospel? Um, and then what does, this, what does this teach us? What should we learn from this? All right. The action step this week was to be quick to hear and slow to speak. So in other words, be a good listener this week um, in your conversations with your family, with your friends, um, with those outside the church, um, learn and work on being a better, a better listener. All right. Hope you all have enjoyed the series so far. Uh, we got one more week uh, to go next week in this one. Uh, we are um, excited about it and uh, hope to see you next week.